Ooh, that was a long time. I was trying to figure out what's the most awkward thing about talking to a camera, but I think I figured out that at the moment is probably sitting down and being stared at by the camera because it feels like you're in an interview of some kind. And those are not exactly the kind of situation where you feel 100% comfortable. Well, I'll try to make it work because I feel like if I walk around, it's just going to be worse. Welcome to my studio that is right now possibly one of the most anesthetic place. So, studio. A plastic chair that for now is my plastic desk chair is fine, but it's quite sweaty as you can imagine because right now it's about 39 degrees in here. So I have my desk with this arm for filming that I don't know how to use yet. Then I have my shelves that are a mess. Then there is a <laughs> abandoned bed that we don't know where to place right now. My beautiful suitcase, some par parcels and jackets, my empty calendar, very, very, very few works by somebody else and by me. That's a wardrobe where I keep all my very disorganized stock. <laughs> I'm going to buy some shelf for this thing because it's very pointless to have it like this. Some books I need to ship and that's stuff non-studio related, but maybe you will appreciate seeing these guys. These are from Japan, as you can obviously imagine. And they have this beautiful pose because they're meant to be able to finger each other's in the bum. Ta-da! And you can create like infinite chain with like seven different characters or something. They're great. This is a small list of things I want to get done. So not in particular order, I'm gonna go through these things. The first thing I will do is quite simple. So I'm gonna just do this thing here. I just basically want to take the gouache I have. I have a few that I bought like ages ago when I was living in London. And I have a vague memory that when I used them, I had difficulty because the color that comes out of the tube is not the same one uh, that you see when it dries. So apparently I was talking to a friend and she told me that some brands have this issue and some brands don't. But I don't really remember, this may be completely useless, but... Let's see... Oh my god, are you telling me they're dry? <laughs> no! This is not good. Well, that was semi fun. Okay, this was absolutely pointless because they stayed exactly the same. That's a good thing, I guess. And second thing I want to do is probably paint ghosts. Mm -hmm. Sounds very interesting. Um, I'll show you what ghosts are. These ghosts. Ta-da! These are my first ever resin figurines. And I'm very pleased with them. Oh, they're unfinished, as you can see. I just sprayed the white. I have to paint the legs. This is a character I have from the cover of Black and Blue that I'll show you. When I launched Black and Blue, I wanted to make a special pack, including the ghost. I don't have time to finish it properly, so I'm just gonna wait and do it when I can. <laughs> I kinda like them all together like this. I should put a tiny fire in the middle. The transparent ones, I think they're just gonna remain transparent because I like it. I don't know what color this is. This seems right. No, it's all stripy. I 
is to say no ants, don't go. It's not worth it. This is the ghost I was talking about. Well, it's not identical pose, but this was really tricky to model, to be honest. This is a cutified version of it. In the end, I went for very light gray legs. So it's still in black and white, but it's not exactly just one color. Can you even tell? I don't know. Then there is this task that is wood burn bench. I'll show you a bit more later. Well, for now, let's say this is it. And then I'll think of the other tasks. So me and Andres have this bench. It's supposed to go in the garden. And we're trying to like sketch one arm each with the same subjects. So we can wood burn it with my beautiful wood burner that looks a lot like a tattoo machine. And it's been two years we said we would do this, but now we can do it. Good morning, today I'm in this beautiful setting in my living room because I forgot to charge my phone and I have 10% battery so obviously I have to charge while filming if I want to film at all. I'm home alone and I feel a bit less conscious of filming I guess. So let's see, this morning uh, the most important thing I have to do is picking the winners for my giveaway. I hope you didn't come to these videos for the aesthetics because you're not gonna find any. If I try to make everything pretty, I'm not gonna get anything done. So, beautiful lighting. Maybe like this would kind of work in the morning, but yeah, whatever. Okay, let me show you. Here are the pins. I made five in collaboration with Punky Pins. Um, and yeah, they're all, let's say part of a set, but they can be purchased separately. I think I have about two of each on my website if anybody wants them, but uh, you can purchase them through their website. They have quite a few of them. So I have my classic symbol, the moon. I really love how they came out. I'm very happy about it. That's my cap from black and blue. These are my crows from obsidian number two. These are my twins. It's kind of like my one of my main symbols, I guess, is the my avatar and my header to the website. And this one is also from Obsidian number two. So this is the first prize, basically, of the giveaway. And the second one will be just three of them and the last one just two. Okay, I finally announced the winners. It took a very long time. I'm sure there are easier ways to actually calculate one. For me, I just randomly generated with Google a number from 1 to 1313. There was a number of the entries and uh, I counted one by one to actually figure out which one were the winners. Next time I'll try to find a better way. It's all done. Now we just need to ship them. Okay, yeah, now to the next task. Bench is progressing. Right now, that's what I have. I'm really happy with my palm tree. Annoyed sun over there. <laughs> Thank you. 
know to be a proper human being with this heat. My hair just does what it wants. I'd like to say good morning, but I can't because it's like 5 p.m. and I forgot to film the intro for this morning because I was really feeling sick and it's still 39 degrees, so you can just imagine I was melted on any surface as I could find. Apart from that, I've been packing mainly. I have no intention whatsoever to use a wood burner because any added heat could kill me anytime. Oh yeah, and then the rest of the day I pass it trying to put together all the videos I've taken until today. I am still packing and I did this very stupid thing of packing all the obsidian books that I had to ship to the shops. So quite a, quite a big pile. And at the end of it all, I just realized I forgot to number them, so I had to unpack them all, and now I'm numbering them, so... Oh. So I was trying to pack a book, and it, it seemed like the scene in uh, Dirty Rock, where this lemon was trying to put the water inside the water <laughs> thing, because Honestly, it took like 25 minutes for one book. I don't think I'm gonna put that in the video. So, I realized that my video is already 13 minutes and we're just on the third day. So, I think I'm gonna stop it now and do another one for the rest of the week. If you made it until here, then thanks for watching. And see you... I guess next week. Bye.